hey, it's Drew. This is uh, Evolutionary Sleeper by Cynic. Uh, no distortion, because I don't feel like setting up pedals and shit, so I'm going to play it first, and I'll explain it. solo when I play live. Um, I'll do a video on that later. Okay, so to start out, I'll do it quick and easy, hopefully not too fast. Um, the intro riff is open A the entire time, and then your 7th fret on the D, and ninth fret on the G, so power chord shape. It's the first chord. You invert that, uh, about 4 frets up, so you're, well, a little bit more than that. Uh, you're 12 on the D and 10 on the G, so you've kind of inverted that power chord. Move that shape down two frets and just keep your, well, basically move your middle finger down two steps and move your first finger down one step. So now you're 10 and 9, 10 on the D, 9 on the G. And then move that exact same shape down to the fifth fret. So you're five, 5 on the D and 4 on the G. And then just invert that shape on the uh, sixth fret. So you're six on the D and seven on the G. So real slow. I'll see if I can show it to you. Then it's 5th on the B, 
Back to the 7 on the D. 5, 6. Yes. And then your 7 on the G, 7 on the D. 5 on the G, 4 on the G. Uh, 7 on the D, 4 on the G. 7 on the D, 5 on the D. And then 7 on the D again. So, very slow, it's... Full speed. As you can see, I'm palm muting uh, most of it, and I'm accenting every now and again. That's how I'm playing it. Okay, so the actual riff is, and then two on the seven on the D, seven on the G twice, six on the B twice, seven on the G twice, and then back to seven on the D twice, five on the G, five on the B. So the whole thing is... Full speed. So the entire riff thus far is. Then you repeat the beginning. And then sixth fret twice. Oh, I'm sorry, four times. One, two, three, four. And then twice on the uh, seventh fret on the G. And then twice on the uh, sixth fret again on the D. So. Full speed. So the whole thing thus far is. So, do that, repeat again. And then here you go. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. On the seventh and the G. So the whole thing so far from beginning to there is. Basically, you just do the first part of the main riff a bunch of times in a row. All the way through. At the end of the verse, it goes into, I don't know if you want to call it a chorus, but kind of. Um, and it's basically your normal C shape when you play that F right there, the first two notes, and then you leave everything else open. So it's third on the D, second on the G, open B, open E. And I like to go up. Kind of pick that chord. And move the same shape down one fret, so you're... And then you kind of come back up to the staccato stuff. This one's kind of interesting. It's very classical. It's six fret on the D. Every note is twice. So six on the D, seven on the G, six on the B, 
7 on the D. Oh, I'm sorry, E. And then back down the same way. So you go. from that riff into it is. shape is that first chord but instead you're just moving that that this note right here over one string and leaving the middle open kind of suspended so you go move that that shape up twice two frets move back down and then here you just keep that second note the same so you're second on the a and second on the g everything else open and just those three strings the uh, there's a note on the G down one fret, and then you put your pinky on the fourth fret on the E to give that low note. That's probably not how they do it, but that's how I do it to kind of mingle both guitars together, the bass as well, or wh however they do it to make it sound a little fuller. So it's. run and you repeat and you hit that note up two I'm sorry up one so you're song and it's the uh, first fret on the F I'm sorry it's an F note but it's first fret on the E uh, and third on the A so it's just a power chord this whole thing is, is made up of power chords and inversions so that's the first group the second group is an E power chord the third group is the A power chord and then the last group is it's the beginning of a C chord, just the first two notes, so you're third on the A, which is a C, and second on the D, which is an E. So the whole thing is... But obviously you're picking that, so it's more that staccato pattern, this is the 16th notes, or 8 notes, or whatever they are. Um, 
So it's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's six, two, two, two. That's the entire pattern, the whole thing. So. first two phrases you kind of fill it in with a little bit of a solo I don't know the exact notes he plays but I know the scale it's just a major that's on the F and on the E it's kind of like this weird diminished minor thing so the way I do it is I go Study him and figure it out yourselves. <laughs> uh, but the basic basic style is. So the entire pattern from the uh, classical bit is. chords follow the drums so listen to the track to see exactly how they go it's, it's pretty simple once you get it but it's a little bit of a syncopation to it near the end of the group so the first chord is that open D seven on the G six on the B and five on the E kind of minor and then it's all the same last three strings on the fifth fret and then it's four, three, five. So four on the G, three on the B, five on the E. And then it's back to that second chord. Down to the third chord. And then the last chord is two on uh, the D and the G to make that kind of power chord. That chord. And then fifth on the B and the E to kind of give it that octave. That chord may not be right, I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds close enough, so I use it. So the whole thing is the so first chord, second chord, third chord, wait, back to the second chord, third chord, and here it syncopates. Kind of. It's not really even a syncop, it kind of, I don't know, it's a little slightly off time, it gets kind of jump. So the entire thing full speed is. And that goes on the whole way through. He's singing the outro verse or whatever you want to call it. 
and then it goes the entire way through the solo, and then it's the last three last three chord. It's the chord he ends on when he sings "I'm an Evolutionary Sleeper." Um, that's it. Solo to follow. Uh, other than that, there you go. So, just twice. The uh, that riff, and then the main riff. Chords, classical. That's the main riff. Kind of bridge. First. Chords. Classical bit. Extended classical bit. Or metal part. Metal bit with the solo. Intro riff. Repeat it. Chords. And then the ending chord. The end.